Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Net video series on 3 data structure series and this video is about binary tree. So in last video of this series, we saw that what is the actual meaning of tree, why you will go for tree data structure and all that terminologies about the tree. Now in this video, we'll see a basic binary tree and notice that it is not a binary search tree. If, if I tell binary tree, lots of people get confused with this BST thing. This is totally different than this. And it is not B plus tree or B tree or something. No, this is a binary tree. And it has very simple definition. A tree whose nodes can have at most two children is called binary tree. So we have these many types of binary tree. I'll discuss and I'll show you every diagram. So don't go anywhere. Watch this video till the end and you will totally understand the binary tree topic. And the next important point is, as there can only be two children of node, because as I said, at most two children for one node. So if there are only two children, like if there is one node and it have these two children, then this one is called left child and this one is called right child. So this is your left and this is your right. So we have this much only about binary tree. Now there are these many types of the binary tree. Let's discuss them one by one. So the first one is full or strictly binary tree. And the definition of this full or strictly binary tree is every node must have two children except the leaf node. Okay, now let's look at this tree, whether it fulfills this or not. So this is a node, it has two children and this is not a leaf node. Leaf node means it does not have any children. So yellow color nodes are leaf nodes. Okay. So the definition says every node must have two children except the leaf node. So this is not a leaf node and it has two children, this one and this one. And this is also not a leaf node and it has two children, this one and this one. And these three are leaf nodes. So actually this one is satisfying full or strictly binary tree definition. So let's move to the next one. So there is something called incomplete or almost complete binary tree. So let's look at the definition of this one. Every node must have two children in all the labels except last and second last label. So let me uh, tell you the label also. So this is your first label, second label and third level. So this is your first or zeroth level, first level or second level. So we'll count them like this and see what it is saying. Every node must have two children in all the labels except last and second last. So this is the last level and this is the second last level. So last level you just forget about it because you cannot have any children because they are leaf nodes. Okay. So if you concentrate on this second last node uh, level, it is saying that every node must have two children in all the level except last one. So last one cannot have and the second last level should be filled from left to right. So can you see this tree? This tree is like I will always construct from left to right. So this node is constructed then first I will construct left and then right. So after this I will construct left of this one then right then left of this one then right. So this tree is actually following something like this. So we don't have this here. So this actually follows incomplete or almost complete binary tree. So it's like every node have two children and that is a complete binary tree, which we'll see in a moment, but this is little confusing. So I'll repeat this again. Every node must have two children in all the level except last and second last level and should be filled from left to right. So this is your last level and this is your second last level. So only these two levels are not having two children because only this level is having all the nodes containing two children. So for now, this level is containing only one node. So still it is fulfilling that. And the important point is it is filled from left to right. What it means is, yeah, this is a very important point. It is saying that it should not be like this is not there and we have a right node, then this is not incomplete or almost complete binary tree. 
it clearly says that you should have left to right means if you have right of some node then you must have the left of that first then only you can have right of that it's simple you have this this and then you cannot have this because you don't have this so if you have this left then only you can go for right it's just that simple so i think it's clear now so let's move to the complete binary tree okay this is very simple actually this is a complete binary tree this is your root and these all are the leaf and the definition says every node must have two children in all the labels obviously except the last one because they cannot have any children and each label there should be 2 to the power l nodes where l is label so it's like each level there should be 2 to the power l nodes i just missed to write node here so nodes where l is the level so can you see this these are the three levels here and i have already talked about the levels and all the terminologies in my previous video that's why i encourage people to actually go through the whole series of the playlist like watch first video first then second and third then you will have actually a complete knowledge and you will not forget it so i hope you have watched that first video before watching this one so this is one label this is another label and this is another label so let's try to fit this formula 2 to the power l where l is the label so this is your second level yeah this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 so level start from 0 1 and 2 so 2 to the power 2 means 4 so we have 4 here and 2 to the power 1 meaning 2 means we have 2 here and 2 to the power 0 meaning 1 so we have 1 here so this formula applies on this complete or perfect binary tree and don't forget that point that if you are calling some tree a binary tree it cannot have more than two children it should be always like this it cannot have something like this so if this is like this it is not a binary tree so let's look at the another one okay this is left skewed binary tree actually this is very important when you will understand uh, bst you know in that case you will see that okay sometime you have your tree looking like this because it is not balanced so we'll not talk about all those things it's just that every node should have only left children then only it will be called left skewed binary tree this is s k e w e d and similarly for a right skewed binary tree we will have everything in the right okay it's very simple and these type of trees are very common when you will go for binary search tree and you have data coming in sorted order so ultimately your tree will look like this and if it is ascending order like one two three four five then your tree would look like this i mean it will become a right skewed binary tree or if your data is coming as like four five four three two one then it will be left skewed binary tree okay so why it will be like that and what happens when it becomes like this we will see all these things in coming videos now let's look at the program and we'll sum this video so here is the program for this binary tree so this is my structure how it would look like there is a data i have taken integer data type and then this two pointers left and right of same binary type and we have this constructor which is taking data and initializing that data inside this internal data of its own type and then left and right will be initialized as null pointer so this is how we will create a node because when you are creating a node its left and right are actually null and you just initialize the data inside that right so this is how you actually do that and this representation is a linked list representation i will show you a array representation in next video so it's very simple you see that we are using pointers here it's not an array so i constructed root left and right then lefts left and then lefts right and then rights left and then rights right so it's nothing but a node creation i have not initialized one node into another node i have just given the name here and the connection is happening here at this point so roots left is the left node i have created and then roots right is the right node and similarly all these things are initialized so in the end 
it would look something like this. So let me draw this. This is the program here. It is saying that roots left is left. So we have these pointers ready. Root is nothing but one here. So I'll create one here and then two is coming here because I'm saying that this left is two, right is three. Then it will be like three here because I'm saying that roots right is right. So this is the connection part. So let me just quickly do this. So this is how it would look like. This is your root here and these are the leaf nodes and this structure is coming because we have these connections here and after that I'm printing BFS so it's like I'm using a BFS but oh my goodness I just <laughs> wrote that it is a BFS but I wrote the program of DFS so it's not BFS it's DFS so DFS if you don't know what is DFS I will have a separate video for this don't worry about that so for a quick introduction, DFS is a depth first search and BFS is for breadth first search. So depth is like if you will start from here and if you are going here, then you have to choose either of this, then you will go here and maybe you will go further deeper. So can you see this? You are just following a path from here to here, here to here, here to somewhere else and then down the line. But if that is a breadth first search, you will come here first, then you will look at this and this then only you will go down the line so it's like in breadth versus you traverse level wise you will first traverse this level and then you will traverse whole this level and then only you will go for this level but in dfs you actually path i mean follow a path first you will go to this one and then if you are going here you reached here and after that you have to go down so either you will go here or here but can you see you skip this so let's suppose after here you're coming here and maybe something else is also there then you will go there so you skipped this also so actually you go more and more deeper in the tree that is called depth because you are going into the depth and breadth means you are going level wise that's the basic difference and how to write the program for that currently i have a program for depth first search so it's like okay let me just reverse all these things Okay, so it's a recursive program. I want to print these nodes what are there in the tree. So it's like I will first enter the root here because I'm passing root. So this is going into this function. Is it visible? Oh, it should be visible now. So this is your whole program. Currently, we're going to see this guy only and we need this tree. Okay, so first we will come with the root here and then root is not equal to null pointer. No, it is not. Then we will not return, we will just print root data. It means we have printed one and then we'll go again in recursive roots left. So we are going here and then it will come here and then we'll print two because it is not null and then we'll again go further left. So four will come and then we don't have anything in the left of four. So we will pass a null pointer. See, we have initialized null pointer in both of these sides when we create these nodes, okay? So this have null pointer, so it will be null pointer, it will come back then and then it will go for right. So right is also null and then it will go back. If you don't understand all these things, I will show you or I would suggest you to go and see my recursive video. I have explained thoroughly with the stack pointers and stack how stack look like and how one stack actually connect with another stack so please go ahead and watch a recursive video of mine so like this you will go back because now you are not having anything so you will actually go back and then from here when you came here you executed this line and now you are going back means you are done with this line and once you are done and you are coming back because you went somewhere and now you're coming back on this line then you will execute this particular line so now you will go right so you will print five here and then you don't have anything for here and here then you will come and check this guy and this guy so they are null pointers so actually you will go back here and similarly you don't have anything here then you will go back further and now you will go right and then you will print three and then you will go left then six and then you will go up and then seven this is what the number would be when i will run this remember this one two four five three six seven so let's run this 
compile this and execute this see this is the same number one two four five three six seven see one two four five three six seven so this is how you will print it and if you have not understood this traversal don't worry i will have pre-order traversal post-order traversal and in order traversal they are the famous traversal in binary tree and we'll have these videos also so if you do not understand something in this video maybe it is this recursion so don't be upset i will have these separate videos for this so till then bye bye thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next videos keep learning and stay healthy bye bye